It's Alexis Tomaszewski's first time on the beach this season. She's from St. Joe, but goes to Western Michigan. I was shocked to see how tiny this little strip is that we're sitting on today. She always remembers it being dredged in the spring. She thinks soon the sand will be too crowded to enjoy. I know as soon as the kids get out of school tomorrow, the beach is going to be packed, like instantly. The Army Corps of Engineers oversees the process, and this year's St. Joseph Harbor is one of the last on the list. The state of Michigan has a no dredging allowed period, and it started the 1st of May and goes all the way through the 15th of July. And therefore, our contractor won't be into the uh, harbor this year until the middle of July to accomplish the dredging. Now for those of you that don't know what dredging is, that's when hydraulic pumps move sentiment from between the pier heads for commercial boating and move it onto the beach. And this is why beachgoers love it, because it covers up all these old piers. And it adds 100 feet of beach. So where I'm standing right now, it would still be beach. If it's not done before May 1st, the state bans it because that's when fish spawn in Lake Michigan. But once that's done, St. Joe is the first on the list. Our contractors uh, uh, completed their other obligations across the Great Lakes, and, and they'll be headed down there first thing. For Tomaszewski, that means by the time it's done in early August. When they do finally do it, the beach is filled with tubes and stuff, so um, it's interesting they haven't done it yet. It'll be near the end of beach season.